Hello to all my knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nevis, coming back at you with another what phenomenal video. And all I want to say is Happy Friday. You know, Happy Friday to everybody. Remember, it's a new weekend, so making you know make sure that you're actually engaging in new things to grow yourself to grow your mind to have fun i remember back then when i didn't have like a why or like my goals and dreams in front of me or pursuing them you know or in my entrepreneurial journey i remember a lot of weekends just wasting them hanging around with the wrong crowd thinking you know what i'm saying just like time wasters you know what i'm saying so this is what i wanted to talk about it's like don't keep like like dragging your life you know what i'm saying like dragging through the week just waiting for Friday because sometimes you you wait for Friday like the weekend it's because you're tired of working for somebody else you're tired of your life being rolled around someone else's dictation of what your life should be we are not slaves and we are nobody's puppets that's one two I'm not trying to downplay nobody's job but know the difference like if you're working at a job and you're making good money or understand do not do not get comfortable in that false security of a job make sure that you are saving your money and make sure you are saving them correctly so that way you can embark on your own personal journey and grow your own assets and business so that way your financial security is not dependent by the economy or by a corporate job remember this because the moment you are not good for them they will throw you out fire you and find somebody else and forget that you even existed sometimes certain corporations you are just a number in their back wallet Sorry to be brutally honest, but it is something I had to face for myself. And when I understood the the false programming of what society is and all these things, it really kind of it was a tough it was a tough pill to swallow. But I thank God for waking me up from the false illusion that I was living in, so I could begin to live the greatness that He called me to live. Because remember, when you have faith in a powerful God, there's nothing on this earth can stop Him from doing what He needs to do in your life or to bless your life or the lives of those around you. Remember that sometimes we got so used to limiting ourselves that we limit how powerful God is and what He can do. God is so powerful. If He chooses to, He can snap His fingers and we all be disappeared. Like there, nothing will exist. Remember Remember that in the back of your mind. So also remember that that's how powerful he is. That's how powerful he is when he loves you and he cares about you and he wants you to live a better life. So remember this. If you truly want to live a free life, you have to let go of what was so you can become what you're meant to be or what is meant to be. You understand what I'm telling you? So make sure that when the weekends come, you're still working. Maybe not for somebody else, but you're working on your goals, your dreams, yourself, your family. Making sure you are establishing a well-founded foundation financially, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, intelligently in all aspects of your life. And remember, it doesn't have to be like a whole bunch of things at one time. It's just figuring out exactly what works for you, what, do, what direction you want to take your family, and start working on that. You need to understand that your life is very personal precious and important and you need to start taking action and building that up because God is calling all of you to your greatness behind you are millions of more people behind them are millions of more people understand that as we get older we are teaching the next generation how to carry themselves and how to take care of the world and how to live their life and if we are not teaching them how what we need to teach them they will end up running into their demise you get what i'm saying they will end up running into the wrong things and the world might go into chaos this is why the world sometimes may seem like what it is you get what i'm saying because we are not taking the responsibility of what we need to do in order to shape our lives our direction our mindset our belief system having faith in god in the right path that's why you see so much um chaos in the world or you see all these indifferences and people not even knowing who they are it's just going with the wave or the new trend and all this you know and it's just like living false reality posting the wrong things engaging the wrong things and then you wonder why you wonder why because then you meet people like me or other people you know they come across social media the you know people who are, are actually living their life or their dreams and you think we're crazy you know but deep down you want to be like us or you want to live a better life or you want to be healthier stronger but you have to start listening you have to start really making calls for yourself you can't always go with the crowd or the wave you have to be the difference you know what i'm saying so that's what I mean. So when the weekends come, make sure you are writing down your goals and dreams and you are collectively with your family. You know, if you have a family or, or if you're a single parent, whatever, 
get together and really begin to help each other grow and nourish each other and really begin to do so begin you know step by step day by day you know you will conquer the day you know what i'm saying so making sure it's friday right it's friday what four but be 4 30 a lot of you about to come out of work i know a lot of you are still growing still hitting the clubs and drinking and smoking and like that shouldn't be like like your excitement that shouldn't be like you know it's, and then and then when sunday comes around you're like oh i gotta go to work again and you're dragging yourself i learned by by this famous um motivational speaker he said that most heart attacks happen monday morning at seven o'clock in the morning most heart attacks because people are tired and sick and tired of going to a dead-end job that doesn't reap no rewards and just sucking you out of your life you know i'm not saying the job is bad you know what i'm saying but wake up to the reality of truth wake up from the rat race of life what, what do they call it the 40 40 40 40 whatever they call that making sure that you're not continually and if you have someone right before i end my video if you are working with someone and someone is um talking like starting a business or starting something new they have these ideas you know what i'm saying and they kind of confide in you like da, da, da. don't be so quick to like throw dirt on your dream listen to what they have today have to say because sometimes greatness comes in those moments when you are getting sick and tired of the same monday things every day working for somebody else that's when god blesses you with these ideas for you to let go of your old ways to live a new and healthier ways in your greatness in new endeavors you know what i'm saying in new adventures and new life sometimes those people are the same people you are working with but since you're so caught up in your own world you're not listening to these people because if 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 three of you guys working in the same place can come together and really believe in the capability of ideas and creation of what God gave you, you can come up with such a phenomenal idea that incorporates all your gifts and talents from the three of y'all being unified and begin to start that trajectory into the life of your greatness. You get what I'm saying? Just like all these famous people who created YouTube, TikTok, Google, email, technology computer website web pages the phone w listen to all their backstories because success leaves clues uh, you understand what i'm telling you so the more you focus on finding that 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 breakthrough the more god will make these things apparent to you because now you're going against the crowd now you're choosing to walk by faith and when you walk by faith god always said that all things all things are possible through him who gives you strength not one, not two, not little, not a little bit, not this, not that, not yesterday, not today, not tomorrow. He said all things, all things are possible to Christ who gives you strength. God's word is true and it's full of life. And when you read and you believe it, he begins to unlock so much wisdom and understanding that will blow your mind. So never give up, never give in, keep charging forward. Use your weekends to prepare the future that you ultimately want to live. Don't prepare a future that you want to suffer in. Remember the difference and act the difference. You know what I'm saying? But like I say in all my videos, I love you. God bless you. Um, um, God bless you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share, follow. You already know to take the world by storm and make your, make your life count at the end of the day. Until my next one, peace. Happy Friday. Go live your life, champion.